Hi guys, I'm going to the gym now and then uh, we are heading to lunch after that and also to get groceries. I just wanted to uh, stay at home, make a uh, very nice home cooked food, eat and uh, chill for uh, today. So I was thinking uh, to make uh, different types of uh, food which I normally do not make. Uh, so for breakfast I am planning to make uh, ragi malt. It's been very hot in Seattle. So I thought uh, it will be good for health and also cool down the body. And I usually do not make ragi malt. This is the first time I am making. So, Let's go ahead and uh, make ragi malt. I've uh, kept one cup of water uh, for boiling and I added two spoons of ragi to it and mixed with water. I'm going to add this to the, this bowl. So I poured the ragi uh, to this uh, hot boiling water and I think uh, it will take another 5-10 uh, minutes to properly boil. And I have to keep stirring it so that it doesn't make any lumps. I have also cleaned the entire kitchen yesterday. We went grocery shopping and we got a lot of uh, uh, stuff for this uh, week. And I was... Um, so I was very frustrated because uh, a lot of the things were lying here and there and uh, the pantry was also uh, getting a little disorganized meaning most of the items that we got we used to forget that uh, we have bought it and uh, uh, all the items were here and there so I wanted to organize uh, so, you, so all the plastic boxes that we get whenever we get uh, to go uh, to go items so all of those boxes are utilized and uh, filled all the new um, food items uh, in it and let me show you guys how my pantry is looking like now. Uh, so these boxes I had already uh, bought this when we moved into this house and I wanted to organize. So this box that you see, so this one is actually a takeout uh, to go uh, box that we um, basically uh, got. So I used all of that to fill the items that did not have box and uh, what I had done is um, so basically I have put everything and tried to put everything in the box so that it's easier to use and also some of the snacks I used to keep here and we used to forget the snacks are there so I moved all of them to here so that it, it is easier to see what is there and now uh, what is not and uh, these are all the additional rice and atta that we have and uh, I also made a small note uh, to remind me what are the snacks that are there that I can um, use. Let's see what is happening here. I need to stir it. By the way, this recipe I just copied exactly from Hibbar's kitchen. So this is not any new recipe or my recipe told my by my mother. Most of my recipes are copied from Hibbar's kitchen and kitchen and I probably that's how I mastered uh, cooking. I wouldn't say mastered, that's how most of my, uh, I mean, that's how I have learned many of my recipes, at least. So I'm basically going to add some cardamom, cardamom powder and uh, so in that video she added actually uh, jaggery but I don't like it to be sweet so I'm going to add salt instead. I'll also add a little bit of salt. Uh, so I added, I also added half cup of milk to this. Now I'm adding salt. For some reason even oats I don't like it if it's sweet or at least I have never tried it and ragi malt also I have never tried drinking with sugar sugar or jaggery so I am doing it with salt let's see how it turns out if it turns out good then probably 
I'll continue using salt itself. I think this should be done. Let me switch it up and transfer it to a glass. Okay, so my ragi malt is ready and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it uh, along with watching some YouTube videos. It's very hot. Tastes good. I just finished drinking this uh, ragi malt. Honestly, this was the best ragi malt I ever had. In my hostel, they used to make ragi malt. I used to not like it at all. And this turned out to be really uh, good actually. Big shout out to Hebba's Kitchen for this amazing recipe. You guys can also make it at home. It's very easy to make and also very fill, filling uh, for breakfast. And very good for health. And as well as uh, it will cool your body in this hot weather. Hey guys, so I was actually planning on going for a walk i've been sitting inside the house and it was great actually i started watching a new show after a very very long time i've not been watching any series i believe uh, i think i did not watch any series uh, in the last like three to four months so this one is uh, actually nice and i was enjoying myself throughout the day just lying on the sofa and watching it it felt so good and uh, I actually wanted to stay at home itself but then I decided uh, let's go for a short walk. I think it would be fun to listen to podcast, take a walk and I have also not been journaling uh, in the past one month. Uh, this year I made a pact for my, with myself that I have to start journaling and I did uh, do journaling and it did help me but uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, do that today as well. So I thought it would be cool if I go to a park, sit down, watch sunset and then write my journal and also read books. Uh, yeah, so and I just took a hair wash and uh, I'm feeling all fresh. Uh, the weather is very good. It was very hot in the morning though. But I don't know in the evening up there it might become cold. So that's why I wore a normal jacket it's not like um, too much windproof but better than nothing so let's go for a walk <music> and I'm close to my apartment um, I actually uh, took my journal and my book so that I could read but it was so windy there I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to uh, read or journal and I had started listening to podcast while I was walking towards the park and I got uh, completely involved in that podcast it was around one hour of podcast and I enjoyed it so much. So basically it was about a woman who was uh, rescued from a kidnap in Somalia. Um, basically in that podcast uh, she talks about what are the what was it like when she was kidnapped and she was kidnapped for 93 days actually. So that's like three months. Uh, so she was uh, talking about how uh, she processed it and what was the after effects like once she got uh, rescued and all of that so it was very much fun listening to the uh, podcast and i enjoyed it actually and uh, so while i was coming back I, I was just thinking to myself that today was such a great day actually 
from past couple of months i have always been making plans every every saturday and sunday i want to have plans i want to make uh, plans to go out with uh, other people and if i do not go out my uh, i used to get upset and i used to be mad that uh, i'm not able to go out i'm not able to have uh, fun and that was probably because i was working from home and uh, that human connections was very much minimum uh, at least uh, since i was at home all the time uh, but last week i went to office like thrice in a day i had the enough human connections that i wanted when i was in office and i had uh, uh, i mean while traveling in the bus also i uh, my colleague was sitting next to me uh, we spoke uh, throughout uh, throughout that uh, bus duration so basically this week i had good uh, amount of uh, uh, connection and also like i uh good amount of socialization uh, socializing uh, basically so because of that for uh, i mean first time in a very very long time i just wanted to spend time with myself and uh, today was today i didn't want to go out i didn't want to do anything else i just wanted to be at home just relax just make amazing um, lunch for myself and watch some really nice series and last couple of months i was not finding any good series and nothing was interesting me so i was mostly reading book whenever i was getting bored but today i just slept on the sofa and i watched like three episodes in the afternoon i felt so good and also uh, in the evening i was feeling very lazy to go for a walk but then i decided to just go for it anyways and uh, the th- just the thought of like uh, walking to the park walking for a mile lis- uh, listening to the podcast sounded so good and i did it today so i'm feeling very very happy um, and i'm also rediscovering that i can be very much happy and content just uh, at uh, spending time with myself i don't uh, always have to have uh, people around me and that's probably because i mean i definitely need people around me but that's definitely because i'm uh, i mean i got a chance to go to office and mingle with colleagues so yeah i came back home and uh, this is one of my journals i have two books basically so this book i purchased in jan uh 2023 beginning of january and i wanted to start journaling so basically in this book i cannot write anything that i want this book has certain questions and i have to answer it meaning it will ask me how was my uh, previous week and uh, what were the things that i was grateful for what are the things that made me feel weak or uh, something that made me feel uh, that i was moving towards progress uh towards my goal basically so um, and what can i do in the upcoming week uh, to create even a smaller shift and the next step important step i need to take towards my goals uh, for this year and all of that and power statement for the next week so if you see um uh this basically ha- this is like a sprint planning you know uh every week you have to, you'll have to check in and see what are the progress you have made and what were the shortcomings and um what are the things that i want to do for the next week and it feels kind of good uh, to write it all of that down so i'm quickly going to um write it for this previous week this uh, week's journal this week's journal meaning it's only like two pages and two three lines of questions that i need to answer ready to go to office <laughs>